Industry has arrived at the fourth revolution with a focus on machines, data, apparatus, interconnection, everything that we could call computer engineering. But it's not just any kind of computer engineering, it's computer engineering that starts with the data found in sensors, analyzing it at every different level up to the cloud. Computer engineering that gets its hands dirty, if you will. Computer engineering that must recognize the Internet of Things, intelligent systems and robotics. The master's degree in computer engineering for robotics and smart industry aims to train a new generation of computer engineers who, in addition to basic computer skills, also have skills related to the world of industry. To do so, we've designed a training program that includes not only the basic subjects, but also competencies related to production processes and management. It's then specialized with three courses tied to Industry 4.0 and IT, in which our department has the strongest skills. These fields relate to the IoT and embedded systems, robotics and intelligent systems, that is, systems that use computer vision, interaction in augmented virtual reality and advanced data analytics. With the advent of Industry 4.0, industrial networks are growing in complexity and with very stringent requirements. With the master's program in computer engineering for robotics and smart industry, we aim to create these types of networks automatically. To develop a robotic task, we start by looking at the object and its environment. We have to not only write correct, optimized code, but also think about the geometric and physical constraints that allow us to move the manipulator where and how we want. At the same time, we have to build a good interface with the production line to allow for remote monitoring and control. You might use simulators like the one behind me to set up the work, but then it has to be refined and optimized in the field. Computer vision allows machines to reason spatially, that is, to understand the world from a three-dimensional perspective. Computer vision is also often accompanied by automatic recognition systems based on machine learning, which can be used, for example, to quickly see if an object has any defects and where they are on the object itself. Another example is robots. With computer vision and machine learning, a robot can understand how to grasp an object and also understand the world around it, for example, moving within it without hitting any obstacles. To integrate an industrial machine into Industry 4.0, it's necessary to abstract the sensors using the OPC UA protocol, for example. Once the OPC UA server has been created, it can be connected directly to cloud data collection and monitoring environments to enable data analysis and visualization. To find correlations and carry out predictive maintenance, data drawn from the field are processed and analyzed using artificial intelligence and machine learning techniques. A simulation is a virtual replication of processes, devices and people. Both the digital twin, the asynchronous offline version, and digital shadow, the online version, were created in the ICE laboratory. In today's industries, the connection between machines on the production line and classical management software such as ERP and cloud services occurs via MES software.
In ambiente di ricerca in cui lavoriamo, uno degli argomenti diciamo In studies and research, one of the most important topics is undoubtedly mixed reality, which covers both virtual reality and augmented reality. These topics are very important and essential for Industry 4.0 because they enable the study of interactions that are useful for industrial applications and can lead to an improvement in the interaction between users, machine operators, while increasing safety. Students can complete their training with a wide range of optional courses. They also have the opportunity to build experience in our advanced labs such as ICE, our research labs and through internships in cooperation with local companies. All of this leads to the development of new professional skills that industry very much needs and has requested, such as robotics and IoT systems designers, industrial systems integrators and industrial data engineers. Yes.